In today's video, what does a glucose disposal agent do? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rella from ProPhysique.com and today, Science with Steve. Now, Mr. Steve is here with a special topic because something new came out last year and I'm highly critical of new supplements because let's be honest, how often does a new supplement come out that like has an impact on us? Yeah, it's not, not often. Very rarely. Supplements are supplementary. It's in the name. <laughs> But, for those of us that are going above and beyond, um, there are a few products, and I made a video the other day about my top three supplements. If you haven't watched that, I'll probably put a little card in here for you, right in Steve's face. Right over my face. <laughs> um, but today I want to talk about glucose disposal agents and what they do, what their goal is, what the science is behind it, because it's something that I've added to my repertoire this year. It's something that um, the company that sponsors me has added, and for those of you that know uh, Core Nutritionals and Doug Miller, he doesn't just add products to his line willy-nilly, he only adds products to his line that he uses. So um, yeah, it got me kind of excited to use it and give some feedback, and I did use it, and I have some feedback, and I thought, why not throw in old science with Steve? So, Steve, science the shit out of this. <laughs> what is a glucose disposal agent. So essentially what a glucose disposal agent does is the idea behind it is that it's going to help get the carbs to the muscle doing the right things, like the quote unquote right things, which is using them to build new muscle and replenish glycogen stores properly. So there's a couple different ingredients in this product. The first one, the main one, is going to be your green coffee bean extract. Yeah. Um, it's, for this product it's 50% chlorogenic acid. And so Obviously, there's caffeine, and if you don't know, there's a lot and a lot and a lot of research on caffeine and all the great things that it does. But if you look at the chlorogenic acid in particular, it's going to help do a couple of things that the research has shown. So one is it increases lipolytic activity in general. And so this doesn't necessarily happen to you with glucose, but say you're in a contest prep like this guy, yep. um, what that does is lipolytic activity, not only the burning of fat, but also the breakdown of stored body fat to go into free fatty acids to be used for energy. That's interesting because my mm -hmm. caffeine levels are quite high. <laughs> so, yes. So, <laughs> typical prep response. Yeah. Right. The other things that it can do is one is it improves your glucose tolerance, right? So it's done this in a couple of ways and some of the other ingredients are showing to do the same thing via research. Right. So not only uh, pre-meal fasted gl blood glucose, but postprandial or Post meal fasting blood blood so fancy. glucose Post yeah <laughs> um, after you eat right and so not only is it improving your your insulin tolerance the way that your body utilizes insulin but it's also actually decreasing glycemic index of higher glycemic index food so it makes your foods lower glycemic index in the way that your body responds to them well, that's interesting I wonder if it has any bearing on diabetic stuff. Did you see any of that in the oh, research? Oh, lots and lots okay. of research on diabetic patients. So not only is it improving their insulin levels, um, but it's also improving their body composition. So not okay. only decreasing fat-free mass, but also increasing and lean well, body mass. And for anyone that's interested, listen, we're not doctors. Don't trust us. Don't <laughs> don't start taking this if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic or any of that. We'll, we'll link the research below. You can bring the, the discussion to your doctor. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so. so I think because Doug is a bodybuilder and because Core Nutritional is a dietary supplement company, the reason that we would want to include this in our daily regimen would be because more carbs is better. Yes. Um, carbohydrates are highly anabolic. And if you can get them to the muscle, see, carbohydrates have two pathways. Muscle, used for energy and building muscle and stored like in a nice way for energy to be used immediately or fat to be stored later on and saddlebags, right? So like most of us associate fat as bad, muscle is good. Yeah. Body fat is good too, it has its purpose, but for what we're talking about, bodybuilding, body composition, looking good, um, there's more benefit if we can get more carbohydrates, more glucose, more glycogen storage in our muscles versus in our adipose tissue. Absolutely. So let's talk about a couple of the other ingredients and how they're how they're getting that done. All right, so the next ingredient is going to be berberis. And so what it looks like, the main function of this one is through the AMP kinase pathway. So that has a big effect on a whole slew of different things, including energy metabolism. 
Now, it's also going to improve a lot of the same things that the green coffee bean ask extract was shown to do. So same thing, fasting blood glucose, fat-free mass, and a lot of positive impacts on things like diabetic patients. So a lot of the research is done in those diabetic patients um, and overweight and obese populations. However, if we see it in an obese population, we also know that it's going to have an impact and a positive impact on a fit population. And for those of you that are watching this going, man, why don't they do this research in bodybuilders? <laughs> that will never happen, okay? Bodybuilders are not interested in being researched. They're gonna do things the way they want to do them. The only research that you're gonna get from bodybuilders is kind of these self-studies where we talk about taking the product and how it impacts us. So yes, don't talk, don't don't ask the question, when is it gonna be done in a research? Because yeah. um, you're not gonna get a, a population of bodybuilders that just wants to do this. No, not at all. And that was one of the big issues that we had over at the USF lab, um, the hardest thing that you can do is try to do a dietary study or a dietary right. intervention. Um, I actually had taken part in one of the powerlifting studies and what happened was, is I, via uh, ultrasound testing, lost lean body mass and put on fat mass. And I can tell you what, that was the last time I ever took part in a study. Yeah, because yeah, you were in the control group, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I was in placebo. All right, well, let's keep this short. Let's talk about the last ingredient that's going to have an impact. Yep. And uh, then we'll talk about where to get this and where you should get it from. Yeah. Corn nutritionals. Corn nutritionals. Um, so in this one, I'm probably going to murder it. Genema. Okay. And so again, a lot of the exact same things that have shown the positive impact. Plasma blood glucose, fasting blood glucose, glycemic index, right? For so how you and nutritionally when it goes through all your, you know, intestines and stuff, yeah. uh, <laughs> how you absorb glucose, as well as improvements in fat mass as well. So again, it's a lot of the same things that each of these ingredients are having a positive impact on. So it's kind of like, you know, when you put cake with ice cream, when you put two good things together, yeah. it just makes it that much better. Yeah, when I read through um, the description of the product and the research, um, what it showed was that the product, the glucose disposal agent is working through, through different pathways. It's not just focusing on one pathway. Right. Like he said, um, it's actually impacting your digestion before you eat, while you eat, and after you eat. So there's multiple pathways that we're going to get the most bang for our buck from this product. Yeah. And the one thing about Core Nutritionals products as a whole, and I'll stand by this, and Doug will stand by this, is that they overdose the products. They don't they don't just put an ingredient in there because it has a name behind it. There's such a thing as, as an effective dosage, and Doug always makes sure the product has an effective dosage because he takes the products. He wants them to work for him. So. Yeah. We're going to talk about how to use Core Load because that's the product that I use. That's the one I'm talking about. Yes, I'm freaking biased. Yes, I'm with Core Nutritionals. If you have another glucose disposal agent product that you want to use, that's fine. Um, just look on the bottle for the recommended dosage because basically with Core Nutritionals Core Load, you want to use one cap for every 15 to 20 grams of carbohydrates. Correct. Um, and so up to 80 grams of carbohydrates or so would be a full dosage of six caps. Yeah. So that's what I did when I was loading my carbs peak week and I loved it. Yeah. Then so it's very simple. You just, hey, here's some pills, here's some carbs. <laughs> Good to go. Yeah, so <laughs> that's gonna be it today. We're Science with Steve. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, we'll be back. If you guys have any other topics that you'd like us to cover, that's really where we wanna go with this. We wanna give you guys the most information that you can uh, get from us. So leave a comment below. Steve also has a very interesting YouTube channel where he covers interesting topics and has an interesting personality. So <laughs> I'll link his channel below. Go check out Steve uh, and we will talk to you next time.